Welcome to the latest episode of Coach's Corner. I'm joined today by Coach Kevin Brooks. Unless you've lived under a rock for the last two years, you know that he's the head baseball coach of the Ram baseball team here at Angelo State University. And I should have said the coach of the back-to-back South Central Regional champion Ram baseball team. But I know you do not dwell in the past in any way, shape, or form. So, Coach, just to begin, how's the off season been spring workouts etc well it's uh you know it's been a process uh just like like every year um you know trying to figure out the new pieces uh integrate the new guys in with the with the old and uh you know the, the team's shown a real good work ethic uh throughout the fall and and here in the early spring um you know as far as playing wise we we've, we've got a long way to go um but you know i feel like we're moving in the right direction and uh Hopefully we can sort of keep the ship afloat uh, long enough uh, till we get it figured out and, uh, you know, get on a roll late. That's that's always the plan. Right. You know, you told me last year when we did this, you said, hopefully, I think you used about a quarter of the way through the season, you should know what what the team is. About half. Is it halfway? Yeah. Is that you still, do you, is that something you've always lived by or is it just something yeah. year by year? You know, we don't get uh, like, you know, basketball and, and some of the other sports. Uh, we don't get to go play scrimmages before our season starts, um, and and in the fall you can you can play like three, um, and those really don't do you any good. Uh, they're they're too far in front of your season uh, to know. So I think football and baseball are sort of in the same place. Is you know you go play that first game and y- you find out a lot of answers uh, then. So for us though, it generally takes about 25 games to sort of figure out okay where the pieces should be and all that and you just try to not play yourself out of it the first 25 and then last 25 okay this is who we are and and this is who we're going to be and then try to go you know play well which goes right back to what you said you want to get on that roll late in the season right and uh you know historically we've we've done a pretty good job of that um so we'll try to do it again you know it's nice this year early uh we're we're at home uh, pretty much every game, and so hopefully that'll help. You know, we still have to go play, though. It doesn't matter whether you're playing home or away. Uh, we have to go play. You know, you mentioned that, and I was that was going to be my next statement. You know, last year everybody talked about the month and a half to open the season on the road. This year, uh, a whole lot more home games. Does that play into your season prep at all, or do you just simply prep the same way as you did last year? Oh, I mean, every, every year is a little different. Um, so I would say last year that that did go into it, that we were going to be on the road, and we talked about it a lot, and we're going to have to be mentally tough. Um, we still talk about we need to be mentally tough, um, but obviously we don't mention we're, we're traveling all over the place. Um, there are different, different ways we're going to have to overcome some adversity. But, you know, for us, uh, with the crowds we get, I mean, you know, we broke the, the D2 attendance record last year. The facility we play in, uh, the coverage that, that you guys give us and, and, and all the other media outlets, we have a, a very big home field advantage. Um, you know, the crowds, like I say, we get and our, our players love playing in front of them and, and all that stuff. So um, hopefully we play well and it, it, con- it continues to grow and uh, we get that advantage. You know, I will say this, um, last year was very impressive because – as far as crowd attendance wise, right. because I'd look out the press box between innings, take a look outside. You know, I'd get a little tired of dealing with Chris or somebody in the press box, and I'd take a look outside, get a Very break. Understandable. <laughs> and uh, and you know, it, it was it was impressive to see not just the the left side of the stands, but also see the right side as well filling up, especially on the weekend game. So, yeah, uh, San Angelo. We're going to get to opening day here in a minute, but you don't want to forget February 3rd, opening day, 3 p.m., first pitch. You want to be here. I'll think of another plug here before we're done, but I'm throwing that in right now. Don't forget February 3rd, 3 p.m., first pitch. Now, back to the team for a moment. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the new guys. Who Has there been anybody that's particular that stood out in your mind that's new this year? Oh, we've had a few. You know, uh, Jacob Boston uh, is a newcomer from, from Arizona, uh, big tall lanky kid uh you know probably he's gonna play third base uh can run uh, hit hit for power uh he's a guy that that we need to do some big things for us uh definitely capable of doing that uh shane browning on the mound uh is a guy that that we're gonna need to step into the rotation and and be a guy with some of the guys that we lost um and then jake mathis is not a new guy but 
a new guy. Uh, he had a red shirt last year, um, but uh, you know was all, all American as a freshman at Kansas State, and then uh, and then we got Ron Smith, who was uh, also an All Big Twelve guy as a freshman at Baylor, who transferred uh, into us from Louisville. So. We're going to need those guys to, to, to come in and make a big impact and then, uh, you know, the returners uh, to play as well or, or better than they did last year. What are some of the strengths? Last year, and I mentioned this to you, and you, you weren't a huge fan of the style of play, but it seemed that there was more of a, a manufacturing runs than there was power. Do you see a little bit more different team this year, or do you see, see it the same way? Well, I think uh, we're going to still have to manufacture. I think uh, last year, you know, we did it with the bunt game, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but that's that's what we needed to do to win. Um, this year, I think we've got more team speed, so I think hopefully we'll be able to steal a few more bases. And I, and I do think we'll be able to bunt still. we got some guys that can handle the bat, and, and that's a weapon for them. Uh, Power-wise, I think we're capable of hitting a lot of doubles. Don't know about necessarily the home run numbers, but I'll, I'll take any extra base hit. They don't have to be home runs. <laughs> right. You know, talk about leadership for a minute. Obviously, the so to speak, the elephant in the room, you lost one of the big leaders last, uh, from last year's team, Paxton De La Garza. Um, have there been those that have stepped up to fill that leadership void? And also, uh, Dave Goggin was, is also right. gone from this year's team. Is – you know, have there been those that stepped up to fill in that gap, leadership? That's a, that's a question. I mean, um, that was a question we had coming into the year. Again, when you when you lose a Dave, uh, Sam Kohler, Paxton, uh, those guys that have been around and been just, you know, sort of heart and soul of your team. Uh, and Bryce, uh, you know, it, 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 you can replace numbers. You always can replace numbers. Um, you can't replace the people. And uh, so that's that. That was the struggle. Uh, we didn't know, you know, who that was going to fall upon. Matt Waller's really taken charge and, and done a very good job. And then and then Kenton Schroeder's uh, done that with the pitching staff. So, uh, you know, I think those guys are still developing. And uh, you know, it's one of those things you you can't go. Well, you're the leader. You know, it, it's got to be something that that develops and you just got to let nature take its course so to speak and uh but those guys have done that they've got to continue to to grow in those roles um and then you know hopefully you have some other guys come along with them and, and help lead the charge yeah leadership's one of those funny things that you don't really know what you have leadership wise until you get into the fire that's absolutely right flame start then you find out who your true leader is you find out a lot about you, uh, yourself and your team so uh, but, uh, you know, really, uh, I expect us to handle whatever challenges are in front of us and handle them well. All right. I want to move, change gears for just a little bit. I don't think I've ever asked you this question before. and uh, But I was looking up coaching staffs here at Angelo State. And as far as I can determine, absent athletic director James Reed, you and Coach Travis Scott are the longest tenured coaches here at Angelo State. Yes. So I have to ask – from your perspective, obviously you can't speak for Coach Scott, but what has contributed, do you think, to your ability to stay here <laughs> so long? I mean, 2005 was the uh, implementation of the baseball program, 2017, and you're still coaching. And coaching, um, not to, you know, not to try to inflate your opinion too much, but you're still coaching at a very high level, successful level, winning championships, winning conference championships, winning regionals. So to what do you uh, attribute that success to? Oh, well, Angelo State. I mean, that's the thing. When you've got a great product, you know, you just got to not screw it up. And, uh, you know, I think we do that. And then, I mean, like I say, the thing that makes Angelo State's great, I mean, our academics, our facilities, all that stuff, but the thing that separates it is the people. Um, we've got great, great people that, that, that you know, that's the thing. Uh, while we're good is is Sandy Graves over, you know, our secretary over in athletics. And then our assistants, obviously, with Johnny and Travis and, and Rex. And, and then Riley Price is a, our new GA this year. Um, you know, but from the people in housing to the people in admissions to Dr. May and Dr. Topliff and Dr. Flores and Angie Wright. I mean, you just – and that's the thing. If one of those pieces isn't there, you you don't get the success that we have. And so, uh, you know, that's the thing. A long time ago, uh, when I started this coaching thing, I was I was at Texas A&M, and Mark Johnson, the head coach there, gave me some of the best advice I ever got, which was, don't mess with happy. <laughs> you know? Like and like so, uh, you know, I'm happy, so no reason to 
change that. So you see any change in your future? Or are you here for you here till the apocalypse happens? I hope so. You know, I mean, I'm scared every day. I'm gonna get fired. But uh, anyway, I, I hope that doesn't happen. All right. Well, we appreciate having you around. Uh, from a media standpoint and just an individual standpoint, uh, I love interviews with you. I love coaching shows with you because you don't give the stock answers. I know. Answers. Boring, I know. I, yeah, it is. Hey, I, I get tired of watching that. And I don't know. I just feel like I do. I have a lot of respect for what you guys do. I feel like you all deserve the truth. Yeah. So I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to go tell you that – Southwest Dallas Baptist Christian's a good team when they're not. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we might edit that part out. <laughs> but anyway, it's Coach. not a real school, is it? I was just trying to make oh, one up. It may be out there somewhere. I don't know. Let's talk opening day for a moment, uh, changing gears. I asked you last year, we talked a little bit about what opening day means in the psyche of America, you know, because obviously baseball is a truly American sport. You know, cricket, they got a bat that's like six feet wide and they run around looking like they're trying to hit each other with it. And uh, I don't know how you can miss the ball with cricket. You know, you got wickets, you know, what's a wicket? You know, have you ever tried? Yes, it's really hard. I was in Australia one year, and the um, and the Australian Air Force folks down there were trying to teach us how to play cricket. And I'm saying now, but then it wasn't so funny. Oh man, it's hard. It is, and uh, it's just some of the terminology, but opening day what are some of the things that we're doing opening day going to happen on the third well we've got a, a really special first pitch uh and i can't say anything about it okay. so uh guys you need to be here february 3rd 3 p.m make sure you're here early and then obviously we hope everybody comes out i mean you know again uh the tailgate and stuff's always been big i mean bring your barbecue bring your family bring your kids and uh come come have fun so then the other thing we're for students, the first hundred students that get here uh, get a free ASU beanie. Uh, so I think, from what I've heard, uh, hopefully that goes well this year, and that'll uh, hopefully be a, a tradition. I hope we only need the beanies for fashion sense and not for cold sense. Yes, my wife says she's going to try to make it out here. She says if it's 35 degrees, I'm not sitting out there. Looks at the weather; it looks good right now. Extended, right. so we're looking at 60s. So we're praying it stays that way because she she does like to come out. I will say this: well. I hope nobody gets offended other sports, but she said baseball is one sport she does love to come out and watch. So because it's the best one. Well, I, I can't say that on camera, but you know she loves she loves baseball. She, I have to keep everybody else happy too, Coach. I'll say it. Baseball is the best. Hey, uh, okay. So opening day February third, three p.m. Also, there's a special event on the fourth, the gold. Fourth, the gold out. Uh, yeah, you know everybody's supposed to come and wear gold. Uh, shirts and stuff uh, so anyway you know that's the thing with us being playing series uh, you know the third's a big day but so is the fourth and so is the fifth so uh, like I say nothing I'd like to see us do more than break the attendance record we set last year and uh, gonna be gonna be hard but because uh, we have so many home games uh, but you know great place to come see we're the only game in town now as far as uh, you know uh, with the Colts being gone still and uh like I say, it's a really good brand of baseball. Great guys. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that's so special. It's almost like a daycare here sometimes. I mean, you're around enough. We have so many kids, and, and I know I have a son too. And, and, you know, he's got lots of good people to show him how to do things rather than on how not to do things. So I'm really proud of the way our guys uh, act, and they're, they're great with the guys. So bring your family and uh, – Make a day of it. You know, it's a good – it really – you hear this all the time. It's almost cliche, but in this case, it's really true. It's a good family-friendly atmosphere. Absolutely. Have seen zero brawls in the stands, zero <laughs> brawls on the field. Yeah. It's a good family-friendly – just a good time to come out on Friday evening, Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, have a good time at the ballpark. And it's church-friendly. You can come out on Sunday afternoon after service, and if you have an evening service, it'll be over in time to get back to evening service. So don't let that keep you away from it. But coach – Appreciate it. Anything else you want to add uh, about the season upcoming? No, I'm just ready to get it going, I guess. Although I wish we had more time, but anyway. Just, just want to get on with the game, see what you got? Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> I'll let you know after this week of practice. <laughs> and, uh, again, this has been Coach's Corner with Coach Kevin Brooks. I'm Russ Howard with Ram TV Sports. We appreciate you joining us today. I want to make sure you remember February 3rd, 3 p.m., first pitch, February 4th, gold out, and, of course, February 5th uh, to close out the opening series. Now, if you ever have any questions, you can go to angelosports.com, check out the schedule, stats, rosters, anything news you want to know about, you can find out what's 
what's going on here at angelosports.com and at Angelo State University. Once again, I'm Russ, Ram TV Sports. We'll see you next time. Take care.